let's look at a couple different ways we can play with strings in JavaScript. So I'll create a string here. Uh, let's just use my name, Thomas John Bradley, like that. So I've got my name here. And I can do a bunch of different things to this string. So let's start with, uh, we'll do a console.log. And I'll console.log name.to uppercase. And that will actually take my name and output it with only capital letters like that. So I could do actually the same thing and change it to lowercase, to lowercase. So there we go. It's changing the capitalization. So those two functions I can call on strings. Let's do another one here. I'll do console.log uh, name.slice. This allows me to get a piece of the string out. So I'll say I want to get John out only. Um, so this works by knowing the numbers of the character. So this is number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I want to start at number 7, and I want to end at 8, 9, 10. So 7 to 10 is what I want to spit out. So there we go. Oh, I didn't go far enough. So there we go. I've got I extracted part of my name using slice like that. There's a very similar function to slice called um, sub str, str, which gives you a start number and then how long you want the string to be. So in this case, it would be four because that's how many characters we want. So that gives me the same thing. All right, I can find out how many characters are inside of my string by typing dot length like that. I'll refresh and you can see it says that it's 19 characters long. Um, I can also replace something in there. So console.log and I'll go name.replace and I'll replace the R with a, uh, how about I replace the A with an at symbol like that. So I'll refresh and you can see it's replacing the A with an at symbol. Uh, what else? I can split it. So let's create a new variable here called name bits. And that's going to be equal to name.split. So split will allow us to extract or break apart our text based on a specific character. So in here, we can break it apart based on a space. So if I console.log this, I'll go name bits. You'll see I'll actually get an array containing the three pieces of information in my name because I split on the, the space here, so it left me with three pieces. So now that this is an array, I could actually count my array. So I could go console.log name bits.length. So I know that my array now has three things inside it, and I could do something with those. Maybe I could just console.log name bits number two, and that will get out Bradley. So with our string, we can do lots of things. We can change its capitalization. We can extract chunks of it. We can know how long it is, just like we can know how long an array is. We can replace text in it. We can break it into chunks. We can do a whole bunch of different stuff uh, to our strings using all these functions that are built into JavaScript.